Good morning, boys and girls. Good morning, So happy to see you. Before we start our lesson on Q, we're going to do a review on all the letters. Packer has a, pull it out. He has a bike. Packer, what does bike start with? B, B, B. Yeah, Skylar has a pie. Skylar, what does pie start with? P, P, she's right. Kehlani has a hose. You might have to wind it up a little bit. What does hose start with? Ha, ha, ha. H. H. Everyone sing. Alligator, alligator, a, a, a. Bike, bike, ba, ba, b. Go, go, ga, ga, g. Hose, hose, ha, ha, h. Let's see, we have octopus, octopus, a, a, o. Pie, pie, pa, pa, p. Sun, sun, s, s, s. Umbrella, umbrella, a, a, u. Van, van, va, va, v. Zebra, zebra, z, z, z. Do you know these letter sounds? They will help you learn to read. Everyone can scoop back to their, where they were and face the front. Today, look up here, we're going to finish up letter, our last letter of the alphabet, Q. Remember, circle around, go to the middle, and slide, a little slide. And little Q, queen's head, down and curly Q. And it looks like she has a beautiful, beautiful hair. All right, so we're going to talk about Q for qua, qua, queen. And I actually have a queen story. And it's called The Paper Bag Princess, but we're going to call it The Paper Bag Queen by Robert Munch. Elizabeth was a beautiful queen. She lived in a castle and had expensive queen clothes. She was going to marry a prince named Ronald. Unfortunately, a dragon smashed her castle, burned all her beautiful clothes with his fiery breath, and carried off Prince Ronald. Help! Queen Elizabeth decided to chase the dragon and save Prince Ronald. She looked everywhere for something to wear, but the only thing she could find that was not burned up was an old paper bag. So she put the bag on her and followed the dragon. He was easy to follow because he left a trail of bones. Ooh. Finally, Elizabeth came to the cave with a large door. She took the knocker and banged on the door. The dragon stuck his nose out. Ooh, a queen. I love to eat queens, but I've already eaten a whole castle today. I'm a very busy dragon. Come back tomorrow and I'll eat you. He slammed the door so fast, Elizabeth almost got her nose slammed in the door. Queen Elizabeth grabbed the knocker and banged again. The dragon stuck his nose out and said, I said, go away. I love to eat queens, but I already ate a whole castle. I'm a busy dragon. Come back tomorrow. Wait, said Queen Elizabeth. Is it true, dragon? You're the smartest and fiercest dragon in the whole world? Well, yes, said the dragon. I am very smart and fierce. Is it true, said Queen Elizabeth? You can burn up ten forests with your fiery breath? Oh, yes, said the dragon. Watch me. He took a huge, deep breath. He breathed out so much fire, he burned out 50 forests. Wow, magnificent, do it again. He took out a huge breath again. This time he burned 100 forests. Magnificent, do it one more time. This time the dragon took another huge breath, but poof, all that came out was a little puff, not even enough fire to cook a meatball. Did she get rid of all his fire? Yeah. Queen Elizabeth said, dragon, is it true you can fly around the world in 10 seconds? Well, yes, said the dragon. He jumped up and flew around the world in 10 seconds. Fantastic, do it again. So he flew around the world in 20 seconds. When he got back, he was too tired to talk. He lay down and went to sleep. Wow, what did she do to the dragon? Make him tired so he'd sleep. Elizabeth whispered, hey, dragon but he was too tired, he didn't move at all. She lifted up his ear and his head. She said, hey, dragon, I'm going in your cave. But he, he was so tired, he couldn't even move. Queen Elizabeth stepped right over the dragon, opened the door to the cave, and there was Prince Ronald. He looked at her, he said, Queen Elizabeth, you are a mess. Your hair smells like burnt ashes. And why is your hair all tangled? And you're wearing a dirty old paper bag. Come back tomorrow when you're dressed like a real queen. Is that nice? He didn't even say thank you. 
Prince Ronald said, Elizabeth, your clothes are really pretty and your hair is very neat. You look like a real prince, but you're mean. I'm not going to marry you after all. And she ran away and she didn't marry Prince Ronald. Wow, why do you think she didn't marry him? He's kind of mean to her, huh? And how do we treat queens? Yeah, I want to show you this queen crown. And you should be treating your mommy like a queen. Your mommy is the queen of your house. And when your mommy asks you to do something like clean up your room, would you ever talk back to your mommy and say no? Or do you say yes and listen to your mommy? Yes. Yeah. Or if your mommy asked you to eat your good food, you would listen to mommy, right? Because she's the queen of your house. And even the teachers are queen of their rooms. If who have your teacher, Auntie Mariah or Auntie Vanessa, if they ask you to do your work or clean up the toys, do you ever talk back to them? No, no we don't talk like that to queens. Well, today we're going to be honoring our little princesses who will be future queens. So we have all of our beautiful girls in here, and we treat them like queens, future queens. And we're going to circle around the queens, and the queens in the middle can circle too. Q for queen. Qua, 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 queen. Q queen in the ring. Cha, la, 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 la. Q queen in the ring. Cha, la, 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 la. Q queen in the ring. Cha, la, 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 la. They look so beautiful to be. Tra la, freeze. Q for queen. And everyone give a bow to our queen. We have introducing Queen Avery, sweet, happy, beautiful queen. Queen Mahina, loving, kind, beautiful, sweet. And Queen Thea, always kind and cheerful and smart. Now we're gonna put some more queens in the middle. Thank you, our queens. You may all sit down. I have a story. At the end of this story, I'm going to ask you to name the Q things. There once was a beautiful, smart queen named Queenie. Queenie was very good at solving problems. Queenie had a best friend, Unicorn, who was a trusted advisor. Unicorn could fly all over to explore the land. Queenie was scared to leave the castle unprotected. And the only time she left her castle was when she was on the back of her unicorn. Queenie trusted her unicorn, and she knew if there was any danger, he could fly them away from it. Queenie and Unicorn were inseparable. One day while Queenie was flying on her unicorn, she heard a cry for help. Quack, 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 help! Queenie and her unicorn flew down to the ground. They saw a family of ducks that were quacking loudly. Queenie said, is there anything wrong? My baby duck is missing, my baby duck is missing. Don't worry, we'll find her. Queenie and Unicorn searched all day for the baby. Right when they were ready to give up, they heard a quacking sound from the bushes and they found the baby. Then Queenie and Unicorn flew back the baby duck to his home. When Mommy and Daddy Duck saw their baby safe and sound, they quacked and quacked for joy. Back at the castle, there was another problem. The Oompa Loompa royal quilters were in a big argument. They were yelling and quarreling about what color to sew the new royal quilts for the queen's bed. One Oompa Loompa said, I want to make it yellow and cheerful like the sun. Another one said, no, it should be red, the royal color. The other one said, no, I want it to be green, like the color of nature. No red, no yellow, no green. Be quiet, said Queenie. Each of you, I have a good idea. Each of you bring your sections of your favorite color. Then Queenie sewed the sections together to make a beautiful patchwork quilt. The Oompa Loompa Royal Quilters thought the patchwork quilt looked a rather quaint, but Queenie and Unicorn loved it. That night, the two best friends snuggled under the patchwork quilt. They talked about the day's problems and wondered what tomorrow would bring. As long as they had each other, no problem would be too big. Queenie and Unicorn would always be best, best friends forever. What did you hear, Oakley? Queenie, what did you hear? Quilt. Quilt. Mahina, what did you hear? Not you. Quack, quack, quack. Good one. What else? When they were fighting, she told them something. She said, be qu quiet. Quiet started to be cute. Quilt, yes. You guys are right. You remember so many of them. Well, I want to show you something on the board. And I want you to notice if you see a pattern going on. Everyone say Q, U, E, E. N, queen. Then we have Q, U, I, L, T, quilt. 
And then we have Q, U, A, R, T, E, R, quarter. And then we have Q, U, A, C, K, quack. What do you notice about these words? Qua, queen, quilt, quarter, and quack. What is something? Do you see something happening? Q and U, and Q and U, and Q and U, and Q and U. Hey, what's going on here? Q and U are best friends. Remember in the story, the queen and the unicorn are best friends. The Q and the U, the unicorn is like its trusted protector. So a Q will never go out. The queen will never leave her castle without her trusted unicorn, her U next to her. Q, U, Q, U. U's will go in other words, like you'll see sun, S, U, N, and he'll be by himself. But the queen can never be left alone without her unicorn or you, her best friend. So we're going to have a little dance, and I'm going to give you a stick. On this stick, some people will have Q's, and some people will have U's. When the music stops, a Q and a U have to find each other and hug each other, stay close, and put your sticks like this together. But does a Q and a Q go together? Yeah. What about a U and a U? Do they go together? Yeah. So make sure you find a partner that's a Q and a U, because remember, those are the best friends. Ready to dance? I have to move it, move it. I have to move it, move it. I have to move it, move it. Yeah, I like to move it. Find a Q to you. Three seconds to find a partner. Hug, hug, hug. One. So, oh, there's two. There's too many people here. Find your own packer. Two, three. Q you. Put your Q's up. Hold it up. Q you. Q you. Woo! Everyone got it. All right. Spread apart. Break away from your best friend. All right. Look up here, because I have the words, and I'm gonna put some pictures, and we're gonna match the right one. All right. Can I have our Queen Mahina come up here. Queen to queen. That's a match. Go give to someone else. All right, did we have any big capital Q's? Yeah. Did we have little ones? Yeah. Let's count. One, two, three, four. And this word is queen, queen, quilt, quarter, and quack. All right, while you're sitting there, I'm going to give you a little piece of Play-Doh. When you get your little piece of Play-Doh, we're going to be making a Q with it. Okay, when you got your Q, I want you to tell me. Ooh, I see. Kaylani, can you hold it up so we can see? Ooh, we got a beautiful Q there. And we got Skylar's Q. And who else has a Q ready? All right, eyes up here because we're going to erase all these Q words except for one queen but let me spell it a little bit better so we can see it good everyone we're gonna make it a big capital q everyone say q u u e e n and i want you to fill in the blank it could be queen mom how do we spell mom m o m it could be queen mahina could be queen oakley could be queen thea queen avery queen skylar queen kaylani because today, you're going to get a queen crown. And on the back, you can write some Q's. But on this line, I'd like you to write queen. And it, boys, you can say your mom is a queen. okay? Or girls, you can put your name, like Queen Thea. And then you're going to be coloring it beautiful. I will staple it. And we're going to have a lot of queens in this class. Everyone look at your friends and say, Q for queen. Yeah.